everyone. Happy Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to switch things up a little bit. I've been telling you about a lot about extensions in the last few weeks, and today we're actually going to do something a bit different to um, to make your life a little easier uh, with task cards. So a lot of us have those task cards that we've purchased or that we've made, and um, most of the time those are in PDF format. So what we can do is we can actually start taking these inside of Google as well and making them digital. So here's how I would start. I, I have a set of task cards here. I'm just going to show you a quick example. So I'm going to open up my snipping tool on my computer. And if you have a Chromebook, you could do that as well. I'm going to click on New. And we'll go ahead and we'll snip just one of those task cards. I'm going to right click and do Save As. And we'll save that. I'm just going to save it to my desktop right now, but you might want to make a folder if you have a bunch of those that you're going to do. And now I'm going to jump back over to uh, the internet. So here in Chrome, I'm going to use Google Forms. So Google Forms, I'm just going to click on blank. And after I do that, I'm going to say that these are my area uh, task cards. And we'll say for the first one, we want to do name. We are going to make this a quiz. That way it can be self-grading as well. We'll say the kids must put in their task card, uh, their name for uh, for this set of task cards. And then I'm going to add a question. All right, for this one, you can hover over it and you can see the little picture right there. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to upload from my computer and I'm going to select the task card and it's going to upload that here for me. And there we are. So now you can do a couple of things. If you want to make this a multiple choice question, you could. Or if you want to do a short answer, you could do that as well. Totally up to you, drop down. Uh, so then uh, what we could do is we could set up the answer key. And we could say that that's a required question. We could insert a few of those inside of there. And then these are going to be totally self-grading. So the kids are going to see how many they got right, how many they got wrong. Um, and you also have that option where you could share this directly inside of uh, Google Classroom. So once you have this totally completed, what I would do is I would head over to Google Classroom. I would click inside of my class. And then at that point, you could go ahead and you can create an assignment and pull in the uh, area and uh, the area test cards that we just created. So you can go ahead and assign that to kids inside of Google Classroom. So I hope that helps. I hope it's just a quick and easy way that you could uh, take something that you have already, like these task cards, and you can make them digital. So we'll see you next Tuesday. I hope that helps. Thanks.